all right folks here we got our nice selection of fish we're going to tell you how to how to clean these things okay for all those you've never cleaned a fish before we's going to be grilling some of these and frying some of these so i'm going to leave the skin on some of them that's what you want for grilling makes it a lot easier to get off there now off the grill now let's look at the fish here we go let me just make sure i can see we good okay right here on all fish in this area there's a rib cage all right you don't want that some people go crazy and get this stuff down here i don't particularly care for it but let's start with a 45 degree angle come in right behind the gill plate see that gill plate right here let's make it cut it all the way down until it stops don't force it then i like to take that and just bring it right along the edge down here and then make another 45 slant it right we want to slant it that's important all right Take your knife, come along the backbone, cut down as close as you can get there till you feel the back, the spine there, and just run your knife along the spine. Don't force nothing, okay? Put your finger in there, watch when you're cutting. Make sure your meat is separated from the backbone. So I like to stick my knife in halfway and just keep it pointed down. That's key. You're going to get the most meat like that if it's pointed down. Come back up here, watch fingers. And just cut it away cut it away cut it away and we can just take this right here and cut that and look now that is a as a boneless perfectly filleted fillet of fish right there all right um, I got my custom built fillet table here for all these essentials um, not sure what we're gonna do we're gonna set these fillets off the side and then I'll determine what I want to fry and clean okay now look we got all that meat off there some people go into this stuff i don't care um so that is how to fillet a fish give me one second and i will show you and then come on the other side do the same thing and then once you make that back end cut just keep running your knife along the back side there stick it in cut point it down point it down if you want all that meat don't waste no meat now you took from the earth make sure you use all what you got cut along this fish had roe in it and then there you go there's your meat we're going to want to we're going to toss this fish that is all the good stuff off it we're going to feed our critters because they'll eat it all nothing goes to waste here nothing goes to waste if we was in a canal that would be some good fishing for them uh, fish in the canal now there's your two good fillets of trout now something to note uh, I don't like any bones in my fish I've had a bad experience before and I don't intend to do that again um, not all fish are the same you're gonna see with this mackerel they got a a bone coming down the center line you're just gonna have to feel for it you'll feel their tiny little ridges almost little spine bones so if you got some in there in that fillet depending on the fish just cut them out try to keep as most you can let's do another run right let's Let's just do this mackerel right here. So I can, same thing. Mackerels are real easy to fillet because they got some soft skin. Um, and this is me too. If, um, if I'm grilling the fish and I leave the skin on there, I don't fool with scaling them. I just, I don't care because that skin's going to stick on the grill and you're just going to, you're not going to be eating it anyway. Now see that, I just got cut on by some macro bones. Now I'm for sure going to be grilling this thing, so we're going to leave the skin on him. All right, and just come down there. Now you see here this little center line, that's got some bones in it. So we just want to take our knife and get him cut that out of there. All right, just like that. Normally I like to use an electric fillet knife, but not everybody has one of those, so I'm just showing you. And then we would just toss that right on the grill there. Right on the grill, just like that. Do the other side. If you get real curious, you can cut their stomachs open and see what they're eating. I do like to do that sometimes. Come right in here. It's down the middle. Careful, I might have cut too deep. That Nope, got all of the meat for sure coming here. Let's peel away right in the backbone. Look how easy that cuts. If your fish is ice well, it's going to cut real easy. Um, come in here. Always ice your fish. Some people like to bleed them. Just depends with what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, 
if I'm going to bleed it or not. But could have bled this mackerel. Would have been meat would have been a little wider, but I'm not going to fool with it. So there you go. We got some nice fish here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show you real quick now how to skin them. Skin them is probably the easiest thing you can do. Just take this right here. Take it like so. Put, put your knife. Get a little cut down to the skin. Don't cut all the way through. Just something to grab on. It's okay because that tail meat's not the best part. The good meat's up here near the, the head. Think about what the muscles they use. And just start cutting down at an angle if you want the skin off. See what I'm doing? I'm just pulling it through almost. Keep sawing. Keep pulling. And now, just kind of grab that skin. Work it all the way through. There's that skin. Toss that. You don't want to need that unless you're a creep who likes to eat skin fish. A uh, little bit left on there, but that'll be all right. I'll go get that when we cut that up. Uh, and there's your uh, boneless, skinless fillet of fish, sea trout. That's some good eating right there. All right, we're gonna get the rest of these going, and I'll I'll get back in with you.